How you doing guys? This is Rob over here. I uh, just want to show you a cool find, something that I picked up. Something I want to tell you to look out for. Or maybe even something that you might be able to help me out with. Uh, I found this jacket just the other day. I was at a, um, at a rummage sale. Uh, I've said it on my videos a bunch of times. These rummage sales are really the best way to look for. I mean, a lot of times they're not, they're not really even advertised, especially the ones in my area. Um, you kind of have to ask, call them. Maybe they have a sign outside. And uh, they sometimes they're advertised. They're, they're very private. I don't, know, I don't know why. They just, you know, I guess what happens is it's these organizations, these churches, temples... You know, they're run by old ladies that really don't use the computer. So they don't really advertise online because they're not really online. I mean, I had I have one of them that they... I actually have two of them. I just <laughs> I just got um, uh, actual letters in the mail, like real physical letters that they sent me, um, you know, for my mailing list. They act, you know, to, to let me know that they're having the sale. You know, actually there's one, there's two coming up this uh, weekend. That I did, I did, I wouldn't have even remembered. I wouldn't even think to look online or anything because they really, like I said, they're not really advertised. Anyway, um, at one of them, I found this really cool jacket. Uh, this is what you would call like a, um, a 1950s Ricky jacket. Now, uh, vintage clothing does pretty well. This is reversible. This here can come out. See, these are the pockets, the inside. Um, vintage clothing does really well, especially 1950s. If you can, that's the hottest, th you know, thing you can find is like 1950s stuff. They call it like the rock. If you you know you look up on uh, eBay, if you put like uh, rockabilly in the uh, search box, you know you'll, you'll see all the really hot stuff. And this one is actually in, you know, remarkable condition. This is the first... I, I very rarely run into something like this. They're really short. They have like a, a band on the outside. They're cut. They have shoulder pads on here. Um, the only down part is that I wish there was a tag. I don't see any tags. I look... Usually when on reversible jackets, they're, they're in the pockets. Like if you... You know, the tag, the, the, uh, the designer or whatever... And uh, I've been looking, and uh, I can't seem to find it. If anybody knows, you can let me know. Maybe I'm missing something. I looked under all the pockets in here and in the, in the inside, under the sleeves. And, you know, I flipped it up upside down. But, uh, you know, I even gave it a little sniff test, you know, because there are uh, replicas of these. Which, actually, the replicas, some of them do really well, too. But uh, to have the original stuff, I'm thinking I'm going to try to list this jacket like 200 bucks. See where it goes from there. 199 start of there. Uh, because, you know, there's not that many of them. I wish it was a size. But I guess I measured it. It's, um, you know, 23 inches from armpit to armpit. Which would be, uh, you know, which would be about a medium jacket. You know, like an outerwear jacket would be like a medium, regular uh regular kind of jacket all right let me know what you think if you know anything about these kind of items uh, i'd be glad to you know if somebody would let me know because like i said i don't really come across them all the time because they're very rare all right thank you very much